Hey, what's up YouTube? Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. Just picked up these new Makita impact sockets. I just bought both sets, the metric and the standard. This just seemed like a good set to have for your typical mechanic slash handyman or contractor. These have been out for a couple years and there was a previous version as well that had fewer sockets in the set. This is the 3 8 drive set. They also make this in a quarter inch, but it's got less sockets. The standard part number is E-01672 and metric is E-01688. Now, a couple reasons I picked these up. Number one, I really like the idea of this plastic sleeve. Of course, I'm going to cut these open and show you here in a minute, but I like the idea that that will hold those pretty snug and it seems like it'll fit easily in one of these tool bags. This is an old Craftsman set here. It seems like I'm always trying to fish for loose sockets. They fall out of here. This thing doesn't hold or latch in there really strong. They'll bounce around and, and fall out. Same with this one. I don't know if this one, yeah, I think this one had a cover as well. It's broken off. So, so a lot of times I'll go to pick these up or look for one and it's missing and loose in the bag. So I kind of, kind of like that idea. I have been taking a lot of my little impact wrenches here too in these tool bags and then I even have this bigger one this is the 2960 version it's also 3 8 drive you're not technically supposed to use regular chrome sockets on an impact wrench the impact sockets are designed to handle the impact of an impact wrench I figured might as well do the right thing and pick up a few a uh, few of these impact sockets with this little adapter to carry with me as well now I didn't really pay close attention to the sizes when I bought this but I noticed there's no 9 millimeter no 11 millimeter we don't have a 16 and we don't have a 19 kind of surprised me now a lot of us already know that three quarter inch is about the same as 19 millimeter a lot of us end up using that so this says right here that it's 19.1 millimeters and it's giving you every measurement here all the way down to like for example 7 16 is 11.1 millimeter which is what you would use you know being a compact set i can see or understand maybe why they skipped some of those common sizes at least the 19 and the 11 millimeter that is something we do run into every once in a while but as long as you've got the companion set i think you'll be all right all right well let's get this cut open and take a look. I'm just going to open the standard set first. Just be careful when you do this. All right, so first impression feels good. And yeah, I can see that those are in there really snug. So somebody mentioned you kind of have to bend them outward to get a socket to come out. Let's see. That's not that hard, actually. They're engraved here. This says Makita 9 16 The sleeve here, the, the holder or the case doesn't have any indication of size, but overall, I mean, they look like good sockets. Let's pull out this driver. Now, of course, if you don't line up the little detent ball with that hole, this will slide off much easier. So if you're doing quick change stuff or you just, you know, working on something real quick but if you're driving a lot of stuff you're going to want to make sure you do use that detent ball or just line that up with the hole and that'll hold that on let's try it in the little driver here this is just the little mini m12 impact driver all right let's take a look and see how that does on something here real quick just took this bolt out of this little air conditioning bracket That felt fine. You'll notice the packaging says fits all brands. Of course, we tried our Milwaukee already. Let's see how it does with DeWalt. No reason to think it'll do any different. You know, it says fits all brands, so I thought I would just verify that. I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's just that hex shaft. But I also have these impact wrenches. So now these have just a little hog ring here. I don't have the detent pin on these. So for quick change, kind of mechanic stuff, you don't want really the detent pin unless you're driving a bunch of lags or something like that. If you're working on a car or mechanic stuff where you're changing a lot of sockets, it's nice to be able to just have the hog ring and slide stuff off. And that does hold it snug enough. There's really no ledge or shoulder here, but the hog ring will hold it on there. Definitely not worried about that flying off. Same with the bigger one here. Again, this is still the 3-8 drive, the 2960, the mid-torque, but it's uh, it's got the hog ring and that socket holds on there fine. All right, let's open up the other set here too real quick. Just for kicks, I'm gonna try this 21 millimeter on a lug nut and see how it does. You know, again, it would be nice if they were able to label this holder. I picked up some stickers, some cheap stickers on Amazon that have socket labels. I might see if those will stick to these. I'm, I'm not going to try to put them on the sockets. They'll just come right off. But I might just do like a Sharpie if I can get that to stick. I just want to try this 21 millimeter. That's the size of my lug nuts on my truck. Let me go see if we can take those off with this. Even though I don't think it'll work, I wanted to give it a try with this little hex adapter here too. 
just to see if this little guy here will take off a lug nut. I don't know. Let's go give it a try. All right, I'm gonna say no on that one. All right, now I'm gonna try this with my Milwaukee impact wrench. This is the smaller 3H drive. I don't think they make this exact version anymore, but if you have this one, you do need to have the settings on the highest on three, that's the strongest. But let's see if it'll break this lug nut loose with this little impact socket. No problem at all. So that's pretty cool, just knowing if you just had just this little impact with you and had those uh, impact sockets, you could change a tire in a hurry if you had to. So yeah, great little socket sets here to throw in your bag, your little go bag with you. You just never know when you might be out on the job and need something like that. They work great with these little impact drivers or some socket wrenches or whatever you end up having, or if you've got an impact wrench like this. I mean, in my case, this small little impact wrench will take off that lug nut, and uh, I was pretty impressed with that. But the socket held up fine, and uh, I'm happy I picked these up. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick these up as well, along with the link to the quarter-inch drive, and I think I'm going to buy that set next. Thanks so much for watching, and good luck.